Next, we have the Shannon Weaver Communication Model. It was created in the year 1948. The key concept of this model is that the sender encodes the message and sends it to the receiver through a technological channel like telephone and telegraph. Fun fact! This model is actually a mathematical theory of communication proposed by Shannon, a mathematician, and Weaver, an electrical engineer. This was developed mainly to improve understanding of communication via telephone and the quality of phones eventually. But it was later used as a general theory of communication. Its main parts are the sender, encoder, channel, decoder, and receiver. The strength of this model is that it explains the barriers to effective communication very well, which was not discussed in the Aristotelian model. It has three witnesses. One, it still doesn't have the concept of feedback. Two, it doesn't consider the relationship of the communicators to each other that might affect interpretation of message. Three, it doesn't address one-to-many communication. The special feature of this model is that the recipient played an important role throughout the communication process. This is the model of communication based from Sean and Weaver's explanation. Let's have the cell phone conversation as an example. The info source is of course the sender or the person who has made the call. Then we have the encoder, which is the cell phone. The cell phone turns the person's voice into a series of binary data package that can be sent down through cell phone lines. Remember, encoding is the process of turning thoughts to communication. The channel. The channel is the cell phone wires itself. While the noise may occur when the speaker mumbles or anything that be that can be a barrier to communication. The decoder is the telephone of the receiver of the call that turns binary data packages it receives into sounds that replicates the voice of the sender. And then we have the receiver who will receive the message and thus the encoding or decoding, should I say, which is the understanding or interpreting of the message. Then lastly, we have the feedback, which wasn't part of this model originally, but was just later added by other theorists to make this model a cycle and not a one-way model. So, this model is, has become a circular model wherein the receiver can speak in response to let the sender know what they heard or understand.